Without wanting to turn back the wheel of time to the days before computers, washing machines and electric light, there has to be a more affordable and environmentally friendly way to sustain our way of life. Take solar energy, for example. In cooperation with Germany's leading financial daily Handelsblatt, we visited the world's most modern solar community in Freiburg, a pretty town in Germany's Black Forest where solar panels on some 60 rooftops produce more power than their owners actually use. Clean energy in abundance, a concept that also attracts foreign visitors. Luna the cat is used to strangers. Today, yet another group is looking around the Freiburg estate. It's outside and we have and we have more than 20 centimeters isolation. These visitors come from Taiwan. They're in Germany to take a look at the Schlierberg solar estate. Another group from Korea was just leaving when they arrived and a party from France is scheduled for this afternoon. The residents of these 58 homes are used to people taking guided tours through the pioneering community and marveling at the solar panels on their roofs. The houses cost at least 2,300 euros per square meter, so they're not a bargain. Two, 2,300 uh, 2, euros for every mm, square yeah. meter, yes. It's very interesting. You need but despite a high initial purchase price, the houses are economical in other ways too. Heating costs in houses this size elsewhere in Germany can be five times as high. The visitors from Taiwan are impressed. Uh, we hope that we can bring more clean energy and uh, renewable energy to the, to the world, especially to the Asia. It's not uh, so advanced like uh, Germany. So I think this is a very good example to introduce to our country and the people in Asia because there's also a lot of sunshine there. Fortunately, Freiburg is the warmest city in Germany. Solar technology made in Germany is a world leader. Solar modules installed on roofs have been around for decades. The architect who designed these houses is considered a pioneer. If he exported his solar designs abroad, Rolf Disch could no doubt make millions. But that's not what he wants. To be perfectly honest, I was never interested in the big bucks. Of course, it's important to have the capital to realize your projects. Any spare money is plowed back into further development and new solar energy concepts. But what's interesting for the people who live here is that once they own the solar plant, their additional costs go down. In fact, they can even make money. So they're the real winners. It's a concept that works in Germany. That's because privately generated solar power can be fed into the national grid at prices set by the government. Effectively, the residents have become eco-entrepreneurs. Martin Hoya is one of them. What's this? What's this? This shows how much power is used. The blue line shows last year, this curve shows how much power is generated, and this one shows how much is used. What does it tell us? It tells us we generate on average three times as much power as we use. That means that he and his wife earn some 5,000 euros a year with their solar plant. Barbara Schwer has never regretted buying the house. She's reluctant to tell us how much it cost, but it certainly wasn't cheap. We wouldn't have been able to afford the house without my husband's inheritance. It cost more than a normal house. But will you make some of the money back with the surplus power? Well, the power does help pay for the solar plant we had to buy, but it will probably take 10 to 12 years before the surplus power helps us redeem the full cost. 
Nonetheless, with energy prices continuing to rise, the couple are confident they made the right decision. But for today, they and Luna the cat have had enough guests. If you want to learn more about solar energy and how best to use it, click onto handelsblatt.com, the website of Germany's leading financial daily, or go to our own site, and that's dwworld.de. And you should certainly stay with us, because joining us now is Felix Mattes of the Institute for Applied Ecology in Berlin. And you can probably tell us why communities like this one in Freiburg are few and far between. They seem to be quite successful there. Yeah, I think, but there are two reasons we should consider. The first, it's new technology. These are new buildings and architects and all the building industry have to, has to learn to deal with this. That's the one reason. And the second reason is that it, is, it, it requires more investment. It's economic on the medium and long term, but it requires more investment and financing is an issue for many investors. And so we need political help for this. As far as I know, we do have political help. Solar energy is highly subsidized, uh, which is also why some of the critics say it will never be able to stand on its own feet. What do you think? I think we have to differentiate between the, uh, the use of renewable energy and efficiency for buildings and the power sector. And it's, it's right that the power sector is subsidizing quite a, a pretty amount of money for power generation from renewable energies. But there these technologies are in different st stages of technological development. Wind power is very close to competitiveness and solar power is an issue of innovation and new technology which we will use in 20 years and therefore it's needed to support this technology at the moment. What kind of electricity source does your institute use right now? In our institute in the headquarters is in even this settlement and we have a passive house that means we produce more energy in the house than we use there. Well, that's good news, but uh, although climate change is on everybody's lips these days, only few are willing to take action in their own homes. Of all electricity sources available in Germany, renewable energy only makes up some 11%, whereas energy uh, gained from fossil fuel, which as we all know is one of the biggest CO2 emitters, still makes up the biggest part. So the question is, how can we increase the share of renewable energy? I think we have just a success case in Germany that we have these guaranteed price schemes where for the early phase, that means for the first 20 to 30 percent, the generators getting guaranteed price and it was successful. Uh, during the last years, every year we bought one percentage po point of uh, renewable power to the energy system and that's impressive. Felix Mattes, thank you so far.